Tanya from Cooking with Plants and today I'm making a scrambled tofu fried rice. So first of all I'm going to make the sauce that will go into the fried rice as I'm cooking it at the end. So I've mixed a tablespoon of miso paste, just a light coloured miso paste but you can use any flavours or a dark miso or um, even a rice miso paste if you like. I've mixed one tablespoon of that with two tablespoons of water. If you don't have miso paste or you don't like using it, you could always use a combination of maybe tahini and a bit of soy sauce or even just soy sauce on its own. But the miso does give it a nice depth of flavour. I've also got one, tea, uh, one clove of garlic that I've chopped up just into fine little pieces. And next I'm using two tablespoons of coconut aminos. Coconut aminos is very similar to a soy sauce, but it does seem to have a little bit of a vinegar tang. So if you don't have coconut aminos on hand, just use a combination of soy sauce and maybe a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Next I'm just adding one teaspoon of sesame oil. It'll just give this whole dish a nice flavor. And also to this sauce, I'm adding half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of Celtic sea salt, the coarse variety, and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. I'm also using half a teaspoon of chili flakes. So just depending on how much you like chili or the um, heat of your chili, just adjust that to your own preference. And I'm also using one tablespoon of coconut sugar. Okay. Now give this a good mix through and that's ready to use for the final cooking stage. To cook this rice today I'm using a non-stick fry pan just so I don't need any extra oil and I've already preheated this pan so it's already quite hot. I'll just get this back to temperature. So get this onto a high heat. And I've cut half an onion into long strips, so lengthways. And this will be going into the hot pan first. Browning up nicely, and it's not sticking either, so that's good. Beautiful. Okay, so this is nice and caramelised. So what I'm adding next is 300 grams of crumbled firm tofu, which is about 11 ounces. So that's going straight in the pan as well. Just give that a good stir through. Yum. We'll just add a tiny bit of water just to stop this from sticking. Okay, so to this mixture I'm going to add one tablespoon of nutritional yeast flakes and a quarter of a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And I'm also adding in half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder and half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And again, just give that a really good mix through. Okay, I'm just going to take this off the heat quickly and put this into a bowl. Okay, I'll just put this back on heat again. And I've chopped up half a carrot, just peeled and diced very, very finely. And I've also got half a cup of frozen peas. So I'm putting them into the pan next. And a bit of a stir through. Because the peas were frozen, the water from the peas will come out and stop this from sticking as well. So just a nice oil-free way to cook these veggies. I've been stirring these for a good couple of minutes and the, you can see the um, carrot 
It's starting to soften now. So, I don't mind a little bit of crunch to my carrot, but if you want it softer, maybe just add a fraction of water and just cook it for another minute or two. But I'm happy with how that is now. So I'm going to add this sauce in next. And then I'm adding in my rice. I've got two cups of cooked rice. Give it a really good stir through. And I'm just going to add the tofu scramble back into here. And just give that all one final stir through. If you want to, for serving this, you could also just squeeze on a little bit of fresh lemon or lime juice. That works really well also. I'm going to eat mine just as it is today. Myself a spoon. Have a little taste test. It's going to be my lunch today. I can't wait to eat this. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Sweet, spicy, savoury. Oh, just all those combinations are really, really delicious. Mmm. It's just, it's almost like a breakfast and lunch in one. This is just fantastic. It's so quick and easy to make. Really, really delicious. Looks great. Nice colours. Beautiful flavours. Mmm. Yum. I'm definitely going to eat this now. Not all of it, of course, but um, this will probably serve two to three people. And also great with a side of vegetables or... Um, a nice salad. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Delicious. Hope you liked today's recipe. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget you can print this recipe at cookingwithplants.com and I'll see you for the next recipe. Bye. Mmm. Mmm.